Welcome to Electron Line. Now let's take a look at the shifting property of the Laplace transform. So here we have the Laplace transform of the step function delayed by the time equal to a multiplied times the function time minus a shifted by a factor of a in the time. When we do that, we get e to the minus ax as times the Laplace transform of the function that's not shifted, which can be written as e to the minus as times the function in the frequency domain. Remember that u sub a times t is simply the step function delayed by a time equals to a. If we now take the inverse Laplace transform of that, we get e to the minus a s times the function in the frequency domain, take the inverse transform of that, we should get back the original that we started with. So let's apply that to some examples and see what we get. Here we're taking the inverse transform of 5 e to the minus 4 s divided by s. The e to the minus a s, this portion right here, simply means that we're going to now multiply this times, this is now going to become u sub 4 of t. In other words, it's the step function that's been delayed by 4 seconds, and that would be times the function of what's remaining. Now remember we have a 5 here, which basically we can factor out the 5, and now we have a 1 over s. Now 1 over s would be the function that would be u of t. So if we had the inverse transform of 1 over s, we would simply get u of t. But since it's multiplied times e to the minus 4s, which means we really want to get the inverse transform of the function of t minus a, this will become t minus 4, which in essence is the same that we have over here. So this can be written as, this is equal to 5u to the 4 of t times u to the 4 of t. Of course, the step function times the step function still gives you the step function. So this would then be the final answer of our inverse transform. Here's another example to try and hopefully clarify it some more. Again, when we have e to the minus 4s, that's going to give us u to the u sub 4 of t because we're going to shift it by the step function which means that nothing is valid until four seconds have elapsed we still have the number three here we can factor out a three but now we have a one over s squared the inverse transform of one over s squared is equal to t but instead of writing f of t we want to write f of t minus a so we have to multiply this times t minus four in this case of course a is four Notice if we multiply the times 3, this gives us the unit step function delayed by 4 seconds, times the quantity 3t minus 12, which means that the function, the result is that it is equal to 0, and of course there's two possibilities, for a time that's less than 4 seconds, and it's equal to 3t minus 12 for time greater than 4 seconds. Of course, greater than or equal to 4 seconds, really, when we think about it. But that means that nothing happens. There's actually zero response for time less than 4 seconds because it's been delayed by 4 seconds. And after 4 seconds have elapsed, then the function becomes 3t minus 12 because we have to inverse transform it to t minus 4 instead of inverse transform to just t. And that's how we apply what we call the shifting property of the Laplace transform.